Hello everybody. So if you didn't catch my last video, I created a clone of Geometry Dash, and today I'm finally going to make an AI to play it. But, as many of you pointed out, it isn't super accurate. So I'm going to spend some time to update this clone and see where I can get it to. So let's go. Well, it was definitely the right move to update this clone, because it looks a lot nicer now. And as you saw in the time lapse, I decided to finally add the flying sections. It feels kind of wrong that I left them out to begin with, but now they're here. And one of my favorite details about them is that the portals are actually rendered as two separate textures. So as you enter it, it looks three-dimensional, which I just think is so satisfying. Anyways, now the moment you've been waiting for. Let's AI this thing. For the AI, I'm going to make a neural network, and evolve it based on which players make it the furthest in the map. The neural network itself is basically a mathematical model to simulate the way our own brains make decisions, using parts that are called neurons. These neurons are connected together, and they feed information in the form of numbers into one another. In a neural network, the leftmost neurons are the inputs where we will provide data from the game, and the rightmost neurons are the outputs. Since this task is relatively simple, all we will need is one output, which is whether or not to jump. And this will work for the flying sections as well, since they use the same controls. For the inputs, we will only need two inputs. The first input will be the distance away to the nearest obstacle, and the second input will be whether or not the player is currently flying. Since this is a boolean, we will just pass in a constant instead. With the basic idea out of the way, now let's code this neural network. Just a little fun fact, when editing this video I didn't have any footage of me writing the neural network code, so I quickly wrote up this Python script to auto-type it for me, so that footage you saw was actually automated. Anyways, the code for this neural network isn't the greatest, and by that I mean that a lot of it is hard-coded to fit this specific project, but it should get the job done anyway. Before we apply the neural network to the player though, I thought it would be a good idea to not just have one player at a time, but instead 20. So I quickly pirated 20 of my favorite cube sprites from the game, and added them to the cube sheet from the last episode. So now let's try to summon a bunch of them. Um... That doesn't look right. There we go, much better. Does this qualify as torture? So now let's get the AI working. I decided to pair up each player with its own neural network, and hooking it up is rather simple. I just loop through each pair in real time and get a value from each neural network, known as a prediction. The prediction is based on our inputs and whether or not the network thinks that the player should jump or not. And if the value is higher than some threshold, then it will jump. And if I fill the neural network with random data, it appears as if it's working. Now the AI is pretty dumb right now, as it cannot actually learn yet, so it's time to implement the evolution process. The idea is that after a generation has fully died, the player that makes it the furthest is picked to be the basis for the next generation. So all of the other players take the data from its neural network and modify the values randomly to try and evolve it. The original player picked keeps the same values to make sure the generation doesn't devolve by accident. So now it's finally time to train the AI. Before we start though, I put some information in the corner of the screen. This is a visualization of the neural network of the player that is currently the farthest. And when the neurons are red, 
it means that their values are higher. So when the player jumps, the output actually blinks, showing the button press. And you can also see what generation it's currently on, the number of attempts so far, as well as the percentage of the map completed. With all of that out of the way, let's see if the AI can learn to play Geometry Dash. Yes, yes, yes! Woohoo, we did it! I didn't really make a proper ending animation, but it works, and with only 187 attempts. I mean, that's a lot better than I can do. AI learns to play the first level of Geometry Dash, even though it's not actually Geometry Dash.
Now I know this video is kind of a hot mess for you guys to watch, but I hope you did at least find some fun in it, because I know I had a lot of fun working on this project. The code will be on GitHub, by the way. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and for your awesome support as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye